Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, I have some super exciting news. Um, I was invited by Spellbinders um, to design another collection um, for them. Now, if you guys um, have been following me, you know I have a Sweet Street collection. And that was so popular that uh, Spellbinders invited me back to create another one. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I love sweets. In fact, they used to be a bakery owner. And so I wanted a something that had to do with sweets, of course. <laughs> but this collection um, is huge. <laughs> but there was so much I wanted to create that I wanted to get it all in there. This is the Pie Perfection Collection. Um, it's available right now. It's release day over at Spellbinders. And so I thought I would share with you everything that's in my Pie Perfection Collection and then including some inspirational projects that we'll be creating later on in the future um, with future video tutorials. So let's start. Let's dig in. Um, let's have a slice of pie. Um, we're going to start with, I'm going to share with you all of my projects and then all of the sets that are included in the Pie Perfection Collection. This is Skyview Pies and I thought this was like the perfect size to create um, pies for a card. Now um, this set is, let me show you, there's seven cutting dies in here and it doesn't look like much but this this one I think packs a lot of punch because there is so much that you can do with this one. Let me show you the project here. This card I made with the Skyview Pies. Um, you can see I made apple pie and it's very easy to put together. Um, you can layer and add dimension with them. You get the lattice top, you get the little, um, the pretty decorative top and then there is two um, tops that you can create circles with decorations on your pies. Um, so these are the Skyview Pies. Let me show you another project using that. This is this pie I made blueberry. You can see how easy that is. And then I also have a strawberry pie here that I created with it. So this is Skyview Pies. Love it. And then you can see the packaging one. I think I'm going to make a video um, creating one like the packaging here. So this is Skyview Pies. Super fun. My next new die set is called Perfect Pies. And this has 10 cutting dies. And this one will create a, like a um, side profile of a pie. And I've also included a lattice pie crust so you can create a, a lattice top pie. But there's also the outside piece where you can make a custard pie. Um, or a cream pie actually and then there's a detail piece if you wanted to put a full pie crust on the top there is whipped cream that has embossed detail and there's a few embellishments in here you have the dollop that you can put along the side of your pie a dollop of whipped cream there's a sentiment that says pie and there is a pecan and then there's also some chips along with that um the pie center there. The crust is separate and there is embossed detail on there along with the pie tin. Um, if you want to make pie tins, Spellbinders Silver Mirror cardstock makes the perfect pie tin. So that is my perfect pies. Let me show you some projects using the perfect pies. If I can find some here. Oh, here we go. For this one, I made a key lime pie. You can see that silver mirror cardstock on that pie tin. And then I like dimensions, so I popped it up, but you don't have to. And um, cream pies galore, you can make cream strawberry. And speaking of strawberry, I made one actually. You can see here my little strawberry pie. And so sky is the limit with the pie, uh, perfect pies. And it's so easy to put together too, guys. The pieces are larger. Um, I have fat fingers, so smaller pieces kind of tend to, um, I fumble around with them. So I wanted to make sure that it was kind of on the larger side. So that is perfect pies. Okay, I have another one we're going to go through. And this one is the serve a slice. I made a cherry pie here. Server slice is a side view of a larger side view of a pie. Um, I've included a dollop of whipped cream. There's the lattice top for that. There's even a cherry and a cherry stem. 
Um, there's the pie crust that's separate. You get the top piece and the mid piece. And then there is even a drizzle. So if you want to decorate your pie, let me show you some inspiration with this. I had created a Thanksgiving uh, pumpkin pie. I like these this collection because it I think pies are great for all occasions. Um, holidays, you name it. Um, every, you can serve pie with every any holiday. This one happens to be a fall card that I created um, for Thanksgiving. It's pumpkin pie. And I used the... Um, they serve a slice. Now this is another project that I made. This will be coming soon in an upcoming tutorial, but um, this one is a strawberry pie and there's that drizzle that you can create with it. There's a lattice top too. I don't have a pie featuring the lattice top. Oh here, the packaging does. So um, you can make a all different kinds of pies with this one. So there is the serve a slice. And then we also have another die set. Now this die set here is called the Baker's Box. Um, and these tags down here, are not you don't use these to create the box. The box is actually two pieces. Um, these are just tags. Let me show you the tags that you can create with this. There, some of the sentiments in my stamp set that I'll show you in just a minute, you can create little tags that will fit in there. But this is a two-piece set that you can create a pie box with. Let me show you the box. Basically, you just add the insert, reinforce score lines. There's little tabs. You can see here that you would just add glue. Very easy to put, put together. Add glue to those tabs, reinforce those score lines, and then tuck those tabs underneath there. And then you have a box. Let me get a piece of acetate. You can trim down a piece of acetate to fit behind that window. And then the flaps on the bottom, you can see fold over. These are the flaps that you would attach to the base of your card to seal it in. So, and I made this scale to size to fit the cookie corner. For my sweet street collection so if you wanted to put a couple cookies in there you could very well do that also and this is the baker's box let me show you a project a couple of projects i made a strawberry pie with that baker's box in there and then i also made oh, that blueberry pie i showed you earlier so that is with the baker's box and it's really not too bulky you can see here and that is included in the Pie Perfection Collection. There's some inspirational project on front also. Okay, now we have two more die sets. Now these are kind of um, accessories to the pies. This one is called Dish It Up. Now I was excited I got to, to add this. You know why? Because I've looked everywhere for a serving set, a silverware serving set, um, and I couldn't find it anywhere, so I thought this is perfect. Uh, only available at spy Spellbinders. <laughs> um, you get a fork, spoon, and knife. This little oval is a, a plate that you can serve your pies on. You can see the plate here. I have a blue one underneath it. It's kind of hard to see on that one. Maybe here I made a silver plate. Okay, and then you can also, those I've had uh, serve a slice, but, but your... Um, your perfect pie will fit on that plate too. So if you want to have a plate to sit your pies on and a pie server is in this set, then this is called Dish It Up. I actually have some die cut. I don't have the spoon. This is your pie plate, your oval, and then you have your fork and your knife. There's a pie server, and I did I get these out with silver and um, gold mirror cardstock. But let me show you the silverware. I put a background filled with those utensils with the fork and the knife. That's the spoon there. But that is using the Dish It Up set. So I was excited I get to share this one with you. Great accessory for a pie, but for lots of different elements um, 
to Grace Dash Builder. Now this one I think is important. Now this one is called Delicious Decorations. There's an apple pie on the front here. But um, Delicious Decorations is a smaller die set. I'm going to zoom in. And <clears throat> these little elements create so many different occasions. There's fall leaves. There's three different flowers. There's two apples, there's some a half a citrus slice, there's a full citrus slice, there's um, chocolate, there's blueberries, there's cherries, there is hearts for Valentine's Day, there's strawberries, just lots of different, um, there's even holly leaves for Christmas. Um, let me show you some things made. Um, these are scaled for your pies, guys. So if you wanted to create your strawberry pie, there's your strawberries. And then these are white flowers you can hardly see, but those are the flowers that are in here also, along with the flower centers. Um, you get the fall leaves. Those are included in the delicious decorations. The apples are so cute. Let me show you the apples. The apples are included. Half apple here, along with the leaves for the apples. So lots in here. These um, I made the limes here. And then also the flowers, those are in the set also. So this, are, and again, they're scaled to fit. They're a little on the smaller side, but I think it's worth it when you decorate your pies with it. Um, here's another flower that I had created with the, one of the flowers in there. But um, for uh, blueberries also. So there are a lot in this little die set that you can use to decorate your pies with. Okay, now we have some sentiments. We have a sentiment. This is a 4 by 6 uh, photopolymer sentiment stamp set. This is called the Perfect Pie Sentiments and Fillings. And back there's Inspirational sub, uh, You Are Sublime project. And these, all the sentiments that I use for my cards are in there. Uh, thank you very much is a customizable sentiment. Um, you want a piece of me <laughs> is in there. You also get Hello Cutie. The Hello Cutie that's in here will fit in the baker's box. Um, in the baker box uh, fishtail banners. So some of the sentiments in here will fit in your banners there. Um, you also get You Are Sublime for, for, for key lime pies. You have I Have a Crust on You. This is a strawberry pie. We also have you are the apple of my pie and then in our service slice actually I take that back in our perfect pies there's a sentiment that says pie you can see here and then you could use that um, for coordinate it with your stamp set also you don't have to there's a pie in here that you can use but if you want to die cut out the word pie and put it with effect friend it'll say Pyfric friend. <laughs> so a lot of playful elements in our stamp set. And so this is again the perfect pie sentiments and fillings. Last but not least, I have a stencil that I'm super excited about this. It looks like a plain stencil, um, but I love what it creates. This is the picnic checkerboard stencil, and it's six by six stencil. You can see the project you can create with it. Now, you can just stencil this once and create a checkerboard background, which is really nice. But if you go over it twice with two different colors, here I use sponge sugar and picked raspberry. At least I think it's picked raspberry. It might be kitsch flamingo. But um, if you stencil once and then shift it, stencil it again, you create a fun checkerboard. I love the pattern that this creates because the, um, the two-tone I just like so and it does leave a little bit of a space and it's very easy to line up um, to create that checkerboard so this is a new checkerboard um, stencil as part of the collection so I want to keep this short since I'm not creating any projects but I did want to share with you my brand new pie perfection collection um, it's it just went live today over at the spellbinder shop um, and I hope you get a chance to check it out. Um, I look forward to creating lots of... Well, you've seen all the projects that I, I created. Um, I will cre be creating videos for all of those. And then also, um, I'll be making videos with some of the packaging products. So you guys know how I created those as well. But um, 
lots. I look forward to creating lots of projects with this brand new collection. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys um, check it out. Let me know in the comments um, if how, how how you feel about this. And I would like to know also um, what you'd like me to see um, create next um, in future. I would like to know. Um, what you got your thoughts on that and and what oh i want to show you real fast these are little decorations that i made with the uh, delicious decorations and again these are on the smaller side um but they have to be to be uh, scaled with the uh your card projects so embellishments for your pies but um Forgot I wanted to share that with you. But I do want to know what you would like my next collection to be. So let me hear the comments down below. Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Have a wonderful day. I know Easter holiday weekend is just around the corner. I hope you have a fabulous Easter. I have videos um, today, tomorrow. I actually have another video I'm going to post today. Um, but I have a video for tomorrow and then Saturday. And then I'm going to take the uh, Easter holiday off. Um, but I wish you a lovely Easter weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, thank you for all your support of my channel. If you guys are new and want to see more videos, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. There's a bell. It'll notify you every time I, I um, upload a new video. That's important. And then also, I do want to mention too that um, your support of my channel has been amazing. Um, but I learned this through YouTube that if you click the like button... The more likes that I get, um, only if you like it. If you don't like it, don't don't click it. That will just tell me that you don't like that type of type of video. And I learn from that. But if you do like my video, um, click that um, like button because what it does is um, the more likes that I get, it'll push my video up to other people who enjoy crafting, and it gives me a little bit more exposure. And so um, it really does help my channel out. So. Um, I appreciate those of you who do like my videos because you guys are the best. I wanted to say that you guys are the best audience anyway. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for your support. And again, have a happy Easter holiday. Um, check out my new Pipe Perfection collection. I think you're going to really like it. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.